In this video, we're going to do a walkthrough of the newly revamped Salesforce Trailblazer community. So it used to be known as the Salesforce Success Community, as of today, is now known as the Salesforce Trailblazer Community. We can see a couple of things right off the bat that are brand new here just by going to the home page and logging in. So we can see, first of all, that there is a new logo in the upper left hand side. We can see the new logo, uh, which I personally think is pretty slick. Uh, we can see the color scheme and the design is uh, in sync with the Winter 18 release, especially for those of you who are using Lightning Experience. Um, by scrolling down a little bit, we can see that the sections here, hey, look at that, I'm right here on the home page. Uh, we can see that the different sections are clearly identified with uh, tiles that are differentiated from the rest of the background, which is pretty neat in order to quickly see the different sections separated from each other. Uh, we can see over here the avatar on the upper right hand side where your image, if you uploaded one, you know, your photo, your name is listed there. Um, some other information is, li is listed there. So we could see for me when I'm logged in the upper right hand side, it says MVP that I have three certifications. Uh, let's take a look at some of the tabs before we dive a little bit deeper down in the body of the home page. So we could see over here that uh, right now I'm on the home page of I'm on the home page, which is why the tab of home is identified is highlighted. Let's go here and click on the answers tab. For those of you who are not familiar with the answers section in the Trailblazer community, this is where anyone can post any Salesforce related question and others within the community can contribute by helping to solve that uh, problem or challenge that is being faced by the original poster. So let's go ahead and simulate over here as if I want to post a question regarding exporting Salesforce reports to Excel. So I'm simply going to leverage the search box that's uh, by the top of the screen over here. I'm going to click inside of it and I'm going to post the question and hit enter on the keyboard and I can immediately see all of the responses that match the search criteria based on what I entered in in the search box. Now watch what happens when I click on any of these hyperlinks. So when I click on the, any of the hyperlinks, we'll see that the article down below will change. So if I click on the first one, we'll see that the article down below has changed and it matches. It, it's the corresponding article to the item that I selected. We can also see over here which is the best answer. The best answer is the answer that has been selected either by the original poster or by a Salesforce moderator as having been the most appropriate question that uh, actually resolves or should resolve the issue being experienced by the person who posted it. And by the way, the same icon that we see over here, this uh, green icon with a check mark in it, that's also the same indicator that we see here from the search results in order to tell us these are the these posts actually do in fact have a best answer that has been selected either by the original poster or by a Salesforce moderator. Those that appear with a blue icon with a question mark, let me click on that one, we can see the, uh, this the content of the article is now updated and we can see that although there might be a whole lot of dialogue, many responses to the original post, none have been selected as a best answer, either by the original poster or by a Salesforce moderator. So as you can see, I can keep scrolling down to find any, uh, if to see whether or not any of the other posts that are in here actually correlate to the issue that I'm being fa that I'm faced with. Suppose I determine that none of these are appropriate. I can simply click over here where it says post your question and it will open up this screen where I can go ahead and craft my question. I can be a little bit more elaborate here. I can add, as you can see here, I can add uh, images. I can add hyperlinks. I can use some rich text uh, features and I can go ahead and post this item to the community and I can also pick a particular topic that it relates to. So now that we're looking at the topics over here, we can see that the topics over here also correlate to the categories that appear on the left hand side of the screen. So let me X out of this particular uh, screen and now I can see here I can browse by category. So suppose I'm simply curious about some issues related to reports and dashboards. I can simply navigate over here on the left hand side 
over to reports dashboards and I can see all of the items that are listed here. So I can say show me solved questions sorted by and I can choose some filtering criteria. So if suppose I have some extra time in my day, I can go ahead and look for unsolved questions or unanswered questions, depending on my preference, and then sort them by the date that they were posted. And I can go ahead and contribute by looking to see, hey, maybe I can help out this person by solving their answer and pointing them in the right direction. So that's the Answers tab. Let's take a look now at the Help tab on the top. By clicking on the Help tab, I can now see the newly revamped Success Cloud. And this used to be referred to as the Help Portal, portal or at least I referred to it as the Help Portal. And we can see that we can navigate over here by selecting any of the tiles. Let me zoom in a little bit on my screen. We can click on any of the tiles in order to navigate into a particular section. And if I scroll down a little bit, I can see additional resources, additional help and training. Suppose I'm looking for just some general information on how do I create a Salesforce report. So I'm going to use the search box. Again, I constantly say search is your best friend in Salesforce. I'm going to use the search box and I'm going to type in how do I create a Salesforce report and simply hit enter and watch what happens. So as, as soon as the screen refreshes, we can see over here that I have the search results and I can use the options on the left hand side to further narrow down the search results based on the type of documentation, topic, uh, what which user interface, classic or lightning experience. I can also use the tabs going across the top to further filter the, res uh, the results as well. So suppose I only want to see a video. I'm going, I click on the top where it says videos and sure enough, I see that there are 15 videos available to me, all having to do with using reports in Salesforce. This is pretty powerful. So now if I navigate back to the Trailblazer community, I'm going to dive into the events tab. Clicking on the events tab, I can see any events. So what kind of events would we be talking about aside from Dreamforce? This is where we would find information regarding world tours and regarding any other type of Salesforce related conference that might be going on anywhere around the world. So now we're going to navigate over to the collaboration tab and in the collaboration tab, we're going to find, this is what I refer to as the traditional chatter feed, where there are groups, there are individuals that you can f either follow particular records or people. You can join various groups and engage in conversation. Uh, so we can see over here by clicking on the left-hand side, we can see groups and I can see recently viewed. I can see the my groups, the groups that I am a member of. I can see other active groups. And over here we can see when I'm clicking on any of the uh, group options on the left hand side, we can see that in the main portion of the screen there is a search box where I can search for different groups of the type that I selected on the left. So if I want to look for under active groups, if I want to look for a group that uh, maybe particularly focuses on the financial services industry, I can go ahead and just start typing financial and I can see all of the different groups that have the word financial anywhere in the name or the description of the group. And some of the groups are private and where there's a moderator that has to approve your participation, your membership, and some are public. And we can see that over here on the right hand side, we can see the first one I am a member of already. And we can see that the other many of the others, it says ask to join, meaning that there is a moderator who will review and approve or deny uh, your request to join those groups. If one of the groups are open for anyone to join, you will see an option here where it just says join. You can also find different individuals within the success community. So let's say I'm looking for a particular person. Let's uh, who should we pick on Cheryl Feldman. Uh, so if I just click over here and I just start typing Cheryl, it's going to start filtering and look at that. Cheryl is going to come up at the top. Um, 
I honestly don't know whether it's because I'm already following her or because we're such good buddies uh, or we have a lot in common. Um, I'm not entirely sure why Cheryl came up right on top, but either way, I could see Cheryl's right there. And if I want to see Cheryl's chatter feed, I can, uh, meaning not the chatter feed that Cheryl sees when she logs in, but all of the items where uh, Cheryl posted in the chatter feed that are accessible and visible to me, I can see those right here where perhaps she's mentioned or she chimed in on a post, uh, whether it's in a group or just a post on a, any particular record that is accessible to me. I can see all of those items right here. So that is the collaboration tab. Now, if I go over here to the top and I click on the ideas tab, I can see over here that there are uh, different ideas that have been posted here by others within the Salesforce community. And you can vote on any of the items that are listed here. So we can, let's say we want to drill down into a particular category by search, let's say, and we want to see some of the items that are listed here in the ideas community. So I can go here and I can sort by trending or popular or recent. I can pick a particular filter to see whether it's maybe under consideration. Great, and I found nothing there. So let's look at some that are under the point threshold and we're going to just drill into one of them. So let's see over here, add a new plus button for lookups in Lightning in all scenarios, it's currently limited. So if I click into that, I will be able to see any additional detail that has been uh, provided on this particular idea. And I will also see if there were any comments, if there's any dialogue that has happened on this particular item, it would appear here down below. If I, on the other hand, have something to contribute to this feature, I can go ahead and post my comment right here. Again, this is another great way of collaborating with others within the Salesforce community on any particular idea, meaning a feature that is requested to come out in the future on any Salesforce related product. So now if I click on the Featured Groups tab in the Trailblazer community, I will see the Featured Groups. What are Featured Groups? Featured Groups are essentially groups that Salesforce has selected as bringing to the forefront to really call attention to some of these groups for various reasons. So we can see that there are some listed here and reflected in the form of tiles on the main portion of the screen. And we can see on the left-hand side, I can drill down to see by categories and perhaps even subcategories. So maybe I want to see different groups that are focused on a particular product like Service Cloud or marketing. So if I simply click on marketing, it will bring me to the screen where I will then see the featured marketing groups that Salesforce has selected as perhaps being those that would be of most relevant and most uh, interesting to me. If I click here, for example, on chatter, we see that it gets updated and I can see the various groups here. I can, if I hover over them, I can see the number of members in each of these groups. And I can certainly drill into any of these groups and click join the conversation if I want to actually join the group. Now we're clicking on the known issues tab right here in the Trailblazer community. And as the name implies, this is where I can track any known issues that have been identified, acknowledged by Salesforce that either are being worked on or have been resolved. So I can see just a running list over here going down the screen. I can see on the left-hand side, I can see which ones are avail posted by status. So if I want to see all of those that are in review, there are currently over 3,000 items that are in review. If I want to look at anything based on a particular tag, I can see all of the tags listed on the left-hand side and I can simply click on any one of them. And again, the filters will be applied against the database in order to show all of the records that meet the criteria of anything I selected on the left-hand side of the screen. If I want to drill into any one of these issues, I can simply click on any one of these particular issues and I can see all of the details associated with it. I can see the summary, how to reproduce it. I can see what the workaround is. I can see who reported it. And I can also see on the right-hand side whether or not it's been fixed based on 
the server that is affected. I can also see over here there's a green icon indicator where I can select in order to uh, indicate that this issue affects me as well. So that, in a nutshell, is my overview of the Salesforce Trailblazer community. Personally, I think that the Salesforce team that worked on the updated redesign and look and feel did an absolutely fantastic job. I didn't necessarily have any issues or complaints or concerns about the older success community, but the newer Trailblazer community is definitely a lot cleaner. It's a lot more colorful, it's a lot easier on the eye, and it's also easier to identify, especially on the home page, it's easier to identify the different components that are uh, can be found on the home page to give you some uh, teaser, some hint as to uh, the deeper richness of the content that lies within the community itself. So hats off to everyone on the Salesforce team that did a fantastic job on this project. And I am looking forward to the continued evolution of the Trailblazer community in the future. If you're looking for more Salesforce end user training videos, either for yourself or your team, you'll want to head over to Brainy8 Academy, where I've got online on demand Salesforce training courses for end users. They will turn you into a Salesforce rock star. By enrolling in Brainy8 Academy courses, you will get access to a private group of students and to a Salesforce MVP as your instructor. You can even reach out with your own personal Salesforce struggles and we will do whatever we can to help address them painlessly. Click on the link below to enroll in Brainy8 Academy today. I am super thrilled to be part of your journey in learning how to use Salesforce. Keep up the awesome work and have a magnificent day.